say, we're here, we're kicking it with the Wolverine. When I say what I mean, I mean what I say. And you often hear me speak on kicking it with the Wolverine about dedication, commitment, and loyalty. Well, here today, I have one of my students with me. His name is Bradley Crotz. He has been with me for 25 years. 25 years. That's a long time. And that shows loyalty, dedication, and commitment. And we're glad to have Brad a part of, of our program for the past 25 years. He owns and operates a school in Lambsburg, North Carolina. Here in just a few minutes, we'll let him talk about that, tell you about that. We also has a special program there that we call the Special Spartans, where we train people with physical handicaps, things of that nature, as we do here with the, with the military. We also do it with the civilian world, training people with all kinds of special needs. Brad, glad to have you with us today. Um, if you want to just tell us a little bit about um, what it means to be able to get ready to go up for your fifth degree black belt, I mean, that's a big deal. It's a lifelong dream and a lot of hard work, blood, sweat, tears. It's It's been a ride. It's been fun. Um, and it's just, it's something I've always wanted. And it's becoming true. I know that, you, that when you first signed up, you heard me make the speeches I often do when we have big beginners classes. One out of every 10,000 students actually make it to Black Belt. And you've probably seen that over the course. Oh, yeah. And then in your career, you've been involved with, with not only just training and getting your body in shape and, and doing that, but, but you were part of our stunt team when we went and done America's Got Talent, you know, going to California and being on live TV. How was that like for you? That was amazing. I loved it. It was fun. Um, it was, it was truly something that I never dreamed I would do. Yeah, the first world championships that, uh, Brad ever attended, we took the school to. I asked him after registration, what do you guys think? And I don't know if Brad remembers his words. Do you remember what you said there? You, yeah, I do. Plain as, uh. <laughs> Brad said, well, I never imagined that my redneck butt would be competing on this kind of a level. So he's been a competitor of ours. He's also a judge. He works a lot when we go to competitions, judging, things of that nature. He even helped the NBL for a long time um, with the Super Grands, um, trying to get things going now. We're involved with the NASCAR and going around to them and, and judging and different things like that. And um, like I say, guys, always stay loyal, dedicated, and committed to your instructors because that gives you a lineage. When these guys jump ship because they don't make rank and thing like that for their ego they just they're putting themselves in a bad spot because now they have no lineage no no nowhere to go nowhere to talk to i talk to my instructors that are living still every day i speak to them every day grandmaster joe lewis has passed away but you know he sees that we're training and, and trying to do good things so like i say stay focused stay dedicated and, and like i say brad's been doing 25 years and he's been dedicated and committed for 25 years. So you want to say anything about your school there in uh, Lambsburg? Um, we're, we're a small school at the moment. We ain't got a lot of students just yet. Um, it's a lot of fun. We teach special students too. We have uh, one in particular that just signed up. His name is Jacob. He has cerebral palsy and he's autistic. And he was so, he is such a blast. He is so fun to work with. Right, and Lorraine Hall and is Hall. It, Lorraine Hall's on his team. Uh, you know, at his school, she started with me when I had my classes there in Virginia at five years old. She's now twenty seven. So that's another story of dedication and commitment. She's the captain of our special Spartans team and is going to be helping run that program and helping show these kids. You know, if you can dream it, you can achieve it. And then Lorraine's things. If you say can't, because I have a sign, we don't use the word can't. She says can't just means you don't want to. But we always say you never quit. Um, so that's another thing that's going there. Brad's also going to be putting a school pretty soon here in, in Pilot Mountain, and there'll be a school there. And remember, guys, it's not about how many students you have. It's about the quality you put in them and what you put into them students and changing things in their life. That's the main thing that we want to get across to people. And um, so... That, that's what we like to say. Brad, is there anything else you'd like to say? No, sir. All right, guys. Well, listen, as always, stay loyal, stay dedicated, stay committed, stay strong, keep your kicks up. Till next time, kicking it with the Wolverine. Us.